Hi everyone, we're going to take a look at a certain style of verbal reasoning question today that we like to call sentence completion. In this type of question, our job is to complete this sentence in the best way possible. The way to go about this is to look at the words you're given, banana and book, and then start to systematically work your way through the possible options. So let's start right at the top with banana. Banana is to blank as book is to blank. We're going to start with fruit. Banana is to fruit. Now what's the relationship between those two words? Well, a banana is a type of fruit. So our job then is to go to the next word book and try and keep the same link. Book is a type of read. That doesn't work. Book is a type of pages. That doesn't work. Book is a type of library and that certainly doesn't work. So we know that banana is to fruit does not work with the other word book. So we're working systematically, we move on to the second option. Banana is to yellow as book is to blank. Well, the relationship here is that a banana is yellow. Now let's look at book. A book is read. Nonsense, doesn't make sense. Book is pages. Well, I guess there are pages inside a book, but we couldn't describe it as pages. And then finally, book is to library. That doesn't make any sense because a book isn't going to be described as a library. So in fact, we can get rid of yellow as it doesn't work either. So even though we're pretty sure now that banana is to eat is going to be the right option as it's the only one left, we still need to find out which word matches correctly. So banana is to eat, we could say that we eat bananas, as book is to read. Well, we could say that we read a book. So this looks promising. I'm just going to make sure. We can page as a book, nope. And we can library a book, absolutely not. So we know, having used our technique and gone through deduction, that banana is to eat because we eat a banana is the same as book is to read because we read a book. Our answer must be C for eat and X for read. C, X. Let's have a look at the second question now we've had a look at the technique to solve these accurately. Tap is to water. Well, let's build up the relationship. Uh, water comes out of a tap. So let's have a look at the bottom working systematically. Uh, door comes out of a shut. I don't think so. Down comes out of a shut and close comes out of a shut. That does not work. It cannot be water. There is no link between the two parts of the sentence. The second option is knock. Now here is a classic Kent test trick. Tap has two meanings. The initial meaning we looked at was in a tap as in with a sink and water comes out of it. But tap can also mean a knock. So in this part of our question answering, we're going to imagine tap as a little tap on the door or a knock on the door. So here, tap is to knock. These are synonyms. They mean the same thing. So let's check with shut. Can we find a word which means the same thing as shut? Shut is to door. They don't mean the same thing. They're often put together because you can shut a door, but they don't mean the same thing. So don't think about door. Shut is to down. Shut and down. Again, these two words are very often found together, but they do not mean the same thing. So it cannot be down. And shut is to close or close. Another word which can be pronounced in two different ways with two different meanings. But we know this is going to mean to close. Close and shut mean the same. They are synonyms. Knock and tap also mean the same. They are synonyms. Our answer therefore must be B for knock and Z for close. So as always, we've gone over two questions together and now it's your turn to have a go at home. Can you complete the sentence in the best way, working systematically? If you think you've got the answer, let us know in the comments section down below. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. And if you found it helpful, be sure to check out our other videos and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Kent Test content in the future.